much for once again stopping back by i really do hope that you have enjoyed this week's video so that you can keep coming back for more it is another one of my baby talk sessions as you guys can already see our box is already empty so we're almost done with this batch of baby talks so i'm gonna go on my instagram again and ask you guys what topics you guys want me to talk about or maybe comment down below if you don't mind being seen by everyone comment down below what topics you want us to dig and dive into let's get into the first topic there's like four topics left I normally do three per video so I don't know if we should do three today and then the last one will just start with it the next BB talk or should we just do all four we'll see how it goes and how how we're doing time wise so I don't get a chance to like prepare what I'm gonna say in these videos in these BB talk videos because I prepare the topics way before and then I just grab and shoot so yeah so that's why they are a little bit unprepared i think on the spot because i don't prepare for them i don't prepare my points oh quite a long one all things mental health transition between being dependent to independent vision boards uh all things mental health oh do you know what i think nina growing up from like my early teen years to like my i'm in my mid 20s now so like my early 20s mental health wasn't i don't want to say it wasn't a thing but our society wasn't aware of it i never used to hear mental health mental health mental health but now that i'm in my mid 20s um i think for the past year or two mental health has been at the top of the algorithm in, on social media on people's lives people are taking mental health way more seriously which I love to see honestly because i do feel like mental health has always been there depression has always been there things like anxiety have always been there uh when i look back now i know so many people that were suffering from depression without diagnosing it as depression or even them knowing that they are suffering from dep depression because it was just something we were unfamiliar with right so it's always been there but having a society now where we are so aware of it, where we are so intentional about having a good mental health, where we take measures, where we go to therapy, where we uh, take time to do things that we like, we literally are um, intentional about mental health. So I love that. I love that for us. I do feel like our kids are going to have better moms. I do feel like our kids are not going to start from scratch because we are putting in the work now. I always say, guys, it's our turn. Like, if you are in my age group, it is our turn. Guess what? We are the parents now. We are the role models now. We are, we are the adults, basically. So it's really amazing that... It's really amazing to see that our kids are not going to start from scratch because they're going to have parents that are healed or parents that are healing or parents that are intentional about healing. So a lot of traumas are not going to be passed down because we are putting in the work. And if you haven't started, please do. Um, yo, if your mental health is taken care of, everything in your life kind of falls into place. I do feel like it is so disruptive in any way in your mood if mental health is not taken care of. You, you just gotta prioritize peace. You know, for me, uh, I think what mental health means is peace, having inner peace, being content, being, you know, being okay, being genuinely okay. I, I don't wanna say being genuinely happy because I don't think um, life is always happy. I do believe that life is very seasonal. So I don't think it's realistic to say, um, having a health being in a healthy mental state is being happy you won't always be happy but it's it's being okay it's being able to bounce back from sadness it's being able to uh it's being able to enjoy your own company it's being able to make your own self feel good that's what mental health is it's not being overwhelmed by being alone you know and by being alone i mean physically it's it's being so dependent on yourself it's being so um, if I've got me, I've got it all. Like everything else is a cherry on top. But if I have me, I've got it all. So yeah, um, transitioning between being dependent to independent. How did that look like for me? So um, I actually don't remember being dependent. No, I do. Obviously, dependent on my parents. Um, but that was like high school. I started working very early. 
I started hustling very early. By hustling, I mean in the form of promotions. I mean, I mean, I start my proper um, payment was in second year, right? And I was about, I don't remember how old I was, but I almost don't clearly remember being dependent you know my parents have always been there my parents have always helped yo guys the last year of my varsity life was self-funded i was renting my own place i was buying my own food everything was self-funded so i do think i, I kind of transitioned very early of course I've, I've had a backup in the sense of um if i didn't have room, money for rent that month i know home would back me up but i've never not had it i've never not Fortunately, um, by God's grace, I've never made the call with, oh, I'm not my rent, oh, I'm not my I, I, I've just never been in that situation. So I, I, I was dependent very early, which I thank God for, because uh, I do think it's necessary to be dependent as soon as you can. Another thing that I'm also loving about our generation is that kids are being taught to be independent very young. Um, and obviously, social media has a huge influence um, on this kids are making money on their own from like being a toddler like toddler influencers uh, and i'm not saying this works for every parent or for every mom it's not everyone that wants to put their kid on social media you know um but yeah there's multiple other ways that you can make i can't think of any right now like the main one that's coming to my head is like social media where you get toddlers working with um with toddler brands or baby brands like your pampers your huggies your purity you know brands like that or there's like mommy and, and and baby content and those kids are getting paid it's not just the mother getting paid there's something it's the kid only getting paid yes the mother is tweaking the content or the mother is the mastermind behind the content creation but the person being paid the model in the campaign is the kid so guys those are all entrepreneurial skills like kids by the likes of cairo aka zeta's daughter kids by the likes of um your nuri ledwabas your those kids are making their own money <laughs> those kids can say they were independent from like what being like from from the age of being a toddler which is really fantastic which i, I really think we should that's what we should be striving for as the adults um for our kids you know get them to to be making their own money man life is so expensive everybody, everybody in the house must work everybody in the house must make their own money so i, I don't I only remember being dependent throughout my high school life. Uh, now, Korn, I, I don't know if I can call it being dependent because now if you bring a child into this world, they are your responsibility. So you can't then say they are dependent on you. They're supposed to be. So for the duration of time where I was dependent on my parents was when I was supposed to be dependent on my parents. I've never been overly dependent to a point where Funny, I was thinking email it, but I need email it. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, vision boards. I did share my vision. No, I don't share my this year's vision board, but I did go through my last year's vision board. So just catch up on the video if you already haven't. I'll try link it. Um, I will definitely will not be going through my this year's vision board this year. Maybe next year. I'll go through it. Okay, the next topic is. It girl aesthetics being friends for certain gains or for aesthetics everything is about aesthetics lately yo everything is about aesthetics lately i was watching a video um i forgot which chick i was watching she was going on about how people are leaving instagram are leaving the whole aesthetics things and tiktok is becoming a thing well i know that tiktok is becoming a thing i don't have tiktok yet but apparently i'm gonna say apparently because i don't have tiktok i don't uh yet yet for various reasons but i do think i'm gonna have to join tiktok if i'm really trying to make it as an influencer <laughs> so the girl that i was watching was going on about how yo this is this is actually proving to be true to me because i had a meeting with uzota a friend of mine um i think last week and she was also saying the same thing fast forward last night i was watching this girl i think it's zx or something and she's saying the same thing Ukuti, tiktok is where aesthetics don't matter tiktok is where you can come in as yourself and still deliver the message you want to deliver still have an impact without feeling the pressure to 
have a nice background, to have certain hair, to have a certain beat, to be wearing a certain thing. TikTok is for everyone. TikTok accepts anything and anyone. Um, she even made an example, Yoguti. On TikTok, you can come... No, it wasn't ZX. I forgot who. I think I, I just heard this from like a lot of people. Yoguti, TikTok is where you can come wearing a bonnet every single day and the same pajamas and make content and you will still get the views, the likes, the comments, the interaction, the brands. Uh, whereas Instagram, that's just not something people, it's not something um, that people do. Like as much as no one is gonna say anything about you wearing a bonnet every day and making content and wearing the same pajamas every day and making content, but it's just not what people do. It's like, who's gonna, who's gonna interact, you know? It's just not the vibe that's being chased on Instagram. So again, there's nothing wrong with aesthetics. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with aesthetics, but he, it, it does seem like people are moving away from the whole it girl syndrome if that's what i can call it people are it's like we've seen it everybody's doing it everybody's trying to be the it girl everyone is doing the same thing like next it, i think we at that point where it's like next but there are people that generally just like aesthetics um and i think it's okay like i think it's okay i think what's not okay is going out of your way just to create aesthetics it's when you're using your last money your last sense where you could be doing other things and all you care about is aesthetics all you care about is clothing and makeup so that you can fit a certain aesthetic but if you're doing it within your means within um your 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 honest truth your honest sense of peace and it's what i want to do for me it's what makes me feel good it's not exhausting me it is not exhausting my mental health most important most important most importantly it is not ex ex i guess sana let's just quit most importantly it is not exhausting my wallet then i think there's nothing wrong with aesthetics there's nothing wrong with uh liking certain smells or environments or brands or hair or whatever your um thought is on what aesthetics are um it girl uh, what is an it girl because tell you what Gesana, i am the it girl in my house i am the it girl in my own life and i think as it should i think you should be the it girl in your life i think you should be the it girl in your in, okay not circle but like in your own life you should be the main character so what is an it girl you an it girl to who i don't i don't think I don't see anyone as an it girl. I have people that I genuinely like. That I enjoy their content. I enjoy watching them. I, you know, I, I, I'm rooting for them. I'm supporting them. But I wouldn't think they're the it girl because if they are an it girl, then what am I? If you think I'm the it girl, what are you? No, guys, not for some it girls. So I don't really, and I, I don't really get the whole it girl thing because what is an what is an it girl supposed to look like? Um, when you're an it girl, what what is the next person? You know. So I don't think I. I don't think I, I relate. I don't think I have anything to say because I don't believe in it girls. I believe you should be the main character in your own story. Huh? The next one is... Okay, we are on 13 minutes. Maybe we should just do all four of them. Uh, getting married young. How did you know? But it's okay. How did I know? Uh... Excuse I prayed. Oh, I prayed, yes, son. I prayed, I fasted, I cried, I prayed. And I said, God, if this is not it, you better show me. And you better show me that. Because this man is coming on hard. <laughs> um, no, like, really, honestly, I prayed. I just, I don't remember doing anything else. Oh, oh, fast forward. No, 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 not fast forward. Rewind. Before praying, um, guys, I've always manifested my husband. I've always wanted my husband to. I had 10 things. I, and I, I advise that you do the same thing. It works. I had 10 things. Ruti, okay, I want my man to be like this, like this. But obviously, these are key things. These are deal breakers for me. These are important things like you can't say i want him to okay what's that what's like a, a typical thing i want him to um i want him to wear brands you can't 
it's not petty things it's like very important things like i want him to um be stable i want him to have respect he needs to be a respectful person i want him to be a person that values and loves his family his mom you know because how he treats your mom is how he's going to treat you i guarantee you your son so those are just some of the things that were in my list but these are very things that are very very important to me so he needs to be god fearing he needs to believe in his ancestors things like that which it needs to be important things made a list of 10. now chances are there's no per there's no human that is perfect Chances are he's not going to have all those 10 things. But I said, if he is lacking more than three things on my list, no manga tiwa zonga leze zingi zo 100%. If three things are lacking, it won't work. I can't. Because these are the things that I'm not willing to compromise. If I am willing to compromise, I'm willing to compromise on not more than three of these things. Because trust me, you'll never get a perfect person. You will never. You will never. You are lucky if you create that list and umundu ako ticks all the 10 boxes i just don't think it's possible i think over time we can teach our partners this is what i want this is um what this is what works for my relationship and you guys can sort of adapt to each other's wants and expectations um, but you also have a lot of adapting to do because now when you're not perfect i'm not i'm also not perfect in the relationship so it's just some things take time some things take years but at least you needed to get seven out of ten right Hi guys, I'm So I'm like, I go back to my list. I made that this list, I made it and I forgot about it, you know? And I'm like, God, is this you? I go back to my list and I start. And obviously you have to be very honest about the characteristic tick or cross. So fortunately for, for me, it, it turned out that he he has most of the things that are my, that were on my list. He excelled in most of the things that were on my list. And then I said, okay, sure. Because that was a list I made not knowing God's not knowing God's timing, not knowing when it was gonna happen, not feeling the pressure. I would see, um because I do feel like if you're gonna do the list, that list is gonna be adapted to them. You're going to... I have a trick when I say in love. So it's not going to be honest because you want it to fit this specific person. So luckily for me, I made it before I even met my husband. I made this list in my... In my very purest state where I wasn't even thinking I'm going to get married anytime soon. It was almost as if... I knew, but I didn't know. So when I went back to the list, it was an honest list. I do feel like that list was truly, 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 truly what I wanted, you know? Okay, and then, well, basically, that's how I knew. So he ticked uh, most of my boxes, and I prayed and fasted. My, I don't, I not my sister-in-law, my sister, she's my aunt. She's married to my uncle. We are very close to Gesan, and so I, she's one of the first people that I told, and we fasted, and we prayed. Right. and we said god reveal if this man is mine or not and then here we are today so that's how i knew okay i think let me just do the last one so that we can start afresh on a new box so the last one is i must do pranks Woo -hoo! pranks with who definitely not my husband my husband is definitely not coming on this channel maybe one day maybe one day I'll, I'll i'll invite him i don't know i don't know but pranks seem very unrealistic to me right now because most of the time i'm alone not for most of the time like 90 98 percent of the time i'm alone so pranks are not gonna work my love also i i don't think i'm i don't think i have the i i think i'm too serious for pranks like yeah, my pranks man i think we don't have to Lucy, vibrant, you know. I, I, I think I'm a bit too. I take life a bit too seriously for pranks, so I don't think that those are gonna work. Maybe if I'm being pranked, but I can't even think of a prank. Like, nah, nah, no, babe, no. But thank you for the suggestion. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe. Drop down the topics that you would want me to talk about. And yeah, let, let's, let's engage. I love hearing from you guys. I'll definitely see you next time on my next video. But for now, you definitely are a star. Bye.